do some air down meaning reducing uh, the tire pressures so that uh, traveling onto FSR or forest service road will be a little bit easier the road from here is going to be a bit challenging at times okay you must be wondering where I am I am on a camping trip to Chehalis River um, I'm with my uh, colleague and friend from work and he is leading me to that place he's a pro camper and uh, I'm just learning a few things from him look at the dirt actually it created so the trick is basically to drive slowly just to negotiate this uh, small small potholes in the road we just passed uh, the uh, Grace Lake so he's signaling something I'm not sure what he's saying you were just dreaming, Mahesh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. So I understand actually why he was uh, putting those lights on. Because um, he gave me a walkie-talkie to use while on the FSR. And um, uh, I switched it off to save battery. How's your tire? So when you are driving on a, a forest service road, you should put your headlights on all the time. Day or night, doesn't matter. So that is one of the um, rules being followed on FSR. Okay, so my plan uh, for uh, the evening is, if possible, get some uh, nice sunset with the mountains around. I hope I might get a um, good spot. Fingers crossed. When it's raining hard, it can get really slippery and it's very muddy. That's Dennis. Oh yeah, I can understand now. <laughs> the sunset is one of the plans. And um and it's going down now. Okay. Coming down absolutely fast. This looks beautiful. With all the dirt actually up in the air, it looks dreamy. So sunset is one thing and uh <clears throat> the sky looks more clear now uh, and I hope that will continue into the night as well so if it does I have plans for uh, Milky Way photography as well so again fingers crossed let's see how it goes road is really bad here Trees been logged here. I believe this is an active uh, logging site. We are on this road. Um, trying to find a ooh, very close to the edges uh, trying to find a um, space to camp for the night so this is the camping site actually we are uh, arriving at uh, a lot of tents a lot of people around here Finally, good work. Yeah. After all the hard work, I pitched up the tent. Then uh, we started the campfire. As soon as I was at the campsite, I realized that my location wasn't good, neither for sunset nor for Milky Way photography. The lake was completely surrounded by towering mountains. As the day progressed into the night, the sky was so clear and you could count all the stars. But unfortunately, there was a lot of light pollution coming from other campers at the lake. Also, somebody was playing loud music.
that I could not record any video as well. But still, I managed to get some night shots of the campsite. Then, we had dinner sitting around the campfire we made and were chatting till past the midnight. Then eventually, when the noise died off, we went to sleep. Thank mm -hmm. you.